Over the last few decades, South Korea has established itself as a leader in humanoid robotics. Let's take a look back as South Korea goes full steam integrating robotics into everyday life. The KHR-1, short for Korea Humanoid Robot-1, served as a foundational model for the development of more advanced humanoids that followed. The Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology developed the robot in 2003 using lightweight metals and plastics and electric motors. Standing 120 centimeters or about 4 feet, the 55 kilo bipedal robot walked at a relatively slow speed compared to later models. It was equipped with sensors, including gyroscopes for balance control and basic cameras for visual recognition. KHR-1 was mainly used as a learning platform for researchers and students to understand the complexities of bipedal movement and balance. The prototype laid the groundwork for humanoid robots that would establish South Korea as a leader in the field. In the near future, you and I are going to be very good friends. Want to talk about it? Bubo, South Korea's first walking humanoid robot, was the country's answer to Honda's ASIMO. Introduced in 2005, Hubo helped establish Korea as a major player in robotics on the global stage. Researchers from the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology developed the humanoid robot with advanced lightweight materials for its frame to achieve balance and fluid movements. Okay, see? Now, th that's a difficult thing for me to do. Ah, I, think I don't believe you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it looks very simple, but he's very busy inside. He's measuring his orientation and rate, uh, speed of rate and the uh, force against the floor and keep balance all the time by calculation. Standing 125 centimeters or 4 feet 1 inch, Hubo weighed 55 kilos or 121 pounds. With its bipedal locomotion system, Hubo walked at a speed of one and a quarter kilometers or three quarters of a mile per hour. Electric motors drove its movements. Its five-fingered hands had basic grasping and manipulation capabilities. Though ASIMO was more advanced, Hubo provided an affordable platform for research and development in humanoid robotics that accelerated South Korea's progress. A more advanced version, named Albert Hubo, featured an expressive robotic head modeled after Albert Einstein. The Einstein variant could mimic facial expressions, helping advance Korean research in human-robot interactions. And we're here with Albert Hubo and his father, Professor Jun Ho, uh -huh. all the way from Seoul, Korea. Thanks so much for being here. Nice to meet you here. Now, tell me where the future of robotics is, is headed. I mean, we've been wanting robot maids for generations. Yeah, right. Will we ever get them? I think that every home in the future will have some type of robot. The, much like the, nowadays we do have personal computer, computer in the house. More advanced versions of the robot followed including a 2013 iteration designed specifically to compete with the DARPA Robotics Challenge. It featured the unique ability to switch between walking on two legs and moving on wheels by kneeling, which made it more versatile for competition. The humanoid ultimately won the DARPA Challenge Finals in 2015. Now that victory has proven that Korea is rapidly emerging as a top robotics nation. Global media has since been focusing on Korea's technology in this sector some saying it's reminiscent of how Korean car makers rapidly caught up with their Japanese counterparts in recent decades as both nations sought to topple America's big three. This 150 centimeter tall robot, weighing about 67 kilograms called NBH1, was developed by a team of scientists at KIST. What's unique about this robot is that it has the ability to respond to simple oral demands and it can also imitate some human gestures. Introduced in 2005, Maru was the first Korean robot to focus on domestic tasks like picking up items and serving drinks. The Korea Institute of Science and Technology developed the humanoid as an everyday helper at home and the office. The South Korean government backed its development as part of its broader efforts to compete globally in robotics. Maru possessed advanced vision and balance systems for the era. Stereo cameras provided 3D vision to recognize objects and essential for household tasks. The robot's dexterous hands featured tactile sensors so it could adjust to different objects. Two revisions followed the original robot. In 2007, KIST researchers unveiled Maru 2 with improved mobility so it could better navigate complex environments. 
It also had improved objects recognition and enhanced task capabilities. The third iteration, Maru 3 in 2009, could collaborate with other robots and more accurately mimic human motions. Though Maru was never commercialized, it helped put South Korea on the robotics map. Ever One, introduced in 2006, focused on lifelike human appearance and expression over mobility. Researchers at the Korea Institute of Industrial Technology developed the android using silicone skin and motorized facial components to mimic smiling, frowning, and other subtle human expressions. Everyone was capable of basic communications with people thanks to its speech recognition and synthesis technology. The droid caught the attention of the media, showcasing South Korea's growing robotics capabilities internationally. In 2011, South Korean robotics company Robotus collaborated with the Korea Institute of Science and Technology and the University of Pennsylvania to develop a platform for researching humanoid robotics. Standing about 45 and a half centimeters, or a foot and a half, Robotus OP was built with modular parts using open source software for accessibility. The project was also known as Darwin OP, which stands for Dynamic Anthropomorphic Robot with Intelligence Open Platform. My name is Darwin. I'm Open Architecture Humanoid Platform for Research, Education, and Outreach Activities. I would like to help researchers and students interested in robotics, network image processing, and automatic control system. The small humanoid robot consisted of 3D printed plastic parts and metal components, balancing durability and lightweight design. The robot's servo motors powered its smooth movements. With its 20 degrees of freedom, Robotus had a wide range of movement in its arms, legs, and head. An Intel Atom Z530 processor drove its real-time decision-making. The robot recognized objects and navigated, using its cameras for visual recognition. The humanoid proved versatile in research and education. As one of the first completely open-source humanoid robots, the platform became popular in the robotics community for allowing both hardware and software modifications. In classrooms, it helped students learn about robotics, control systems, artificial intelligence, and autonomous decision-making. It was also popular in competitions like RoboCup, particularly its humanoid leap. RoboBuilder RQ Titan was a large-scale humanoid robot mainly intended for entertainment, promotional events, and educational applications. Introduced in 2013, the robot featured a modular design for easy customization and assembly. Standing 110 centimeters or 3 feet 6 inches, the RQ Titan was much larger than most small educational humanoid robots. Its servo motors provided flexibility and articulation, giving the Titan a high degree of freedom for complex movements. With 16 degrees of freedom, the robot performed natural-looking movements with its arms, legs, and head. The remotely controlled robot was fully programmable so users could create their own complex dance routines or movements, suiting it for interactive public displays. It had sensors that allowed for limited interaction, such as detecting when someone was nearby, which made it more engaging during exhibition. Rainbow Robotics a spin-off from South Korea's Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, introduced the FX2 in 2017. The large human-operated robot was designed to enhance human strength and mobility. Operators sat inside the robot, which stood 2.4 meters or about 8 feet, controlling its movements with a simple interface. Its two fully articulated arms with five-fingered hands were capable of complex tasks. During the torch relay at the 2018 Winter Olympics in South Korea, the robot carried the Olympic torch, operated by a 14-year-old aspiring scientist. A robot now takes on a new challenge as it's about to debut as a conductor for the first time in Korea. Ever6 was introduced in the early 2020s as part of the Korea Institute of Industrial Technology's ongoing Ever series that began back in the mid aughts The humanoid robot gained attention globally when it conducted a symphony orchestra in South Korea. The event showcased the potential of humanoid robots in arts and culture. We focus on humanoid robots resembling humans to enable effective communication as future robots aim to assist us in daily life. Conducting itself needs rapid light speed gestures, prompting efforts to resolve this issue in response to the National Theatre's proposal. 
Ibot is the first humanoid robot capable of piloting planes using standard aircraft controls. Researchers at the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology created the robot to autonomously fly aircraft during emergencies and complex situations. Suppose there's a nuclear accident, you need to just catch fire, wildfire, where the airplane can be damaged really. Every time we train a new pilot, it costs a lot of money and there's a lot of uh, the risk factors. And also any experience that one pilot has cannot be easily transferred to the next pilot. iBot operates typical aircraft controls like joysticks, buttons, and levers just like a human pilot. This means the robot can control a plane without requiring custom robotic interfaces. Its AI analyzes and responds to real-time data, adjusting its actions as needed. iBot stores and recalls operational data and flight procedures so it can improve and adapt over time. The robot is equipped with multiple sensors, gyroscopes, and cameras to ensure spatial awareness, stability, and precision in controlling aircraft. While initially designed for research, PiBot could eventually assist in commercial or military aviation. The groundbreaking development offers a glimpse of the future of South Korean humanoid robotics and AI-driven autonomy. Yeah, you don't say that. Spy, spy. Huh? Huh? With Hyundai's acquisition of Boston Dynamics, the world famous Atlas humanoid robot is now part of South Korea's expanding vision. All signs point toward a future with South Korea's robot seamlessly integrated into industries worldwide. To stay up to date as we get there, remember to subscribe.